Hey yo, what it do? It's your boy J. Lou, and you guys are just in time for another video. In this video, what I want to talk about, I want to give you guys a secret. You know what I'm saying? One of my personal secrets. It definitely helps me out a lot. I know there's a lot of people that feel that there's really nothing else to talk about in the wave game. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to making YouTube videos, but your boy J. Lou is here to tell y'all there's a whole bunch of stuff that hasn't been touched. You know what I'm saying? And for the people that's saying that, they only saying that because they don't have nothing else to talk about they keep repeating the same topics <laughs> But my channel has been devoted to just bringing you guys new content, new topics, as well as new tips that will help take your waves to the next level. So today's video, this is something that I do. I've been doing it for a while. I did my research on it, you know what I'm saying? And this is something I just wanted to share with the wave game. Anybody that's in the natural hair community, all my women already know about this. But for the guys, man, y'all just found this video just in time. This video will help you get better, healthier hair by helping you be able to moisturize your hair a lot better. You know what I'm saying? So let's jump straight into it. All right, so when it comes to moisturizing, moisturizing your hair. I'm gonna make a video just talking a little bit more about moisture, just about how you properly moisturize your hair. If you're a low porosity waiver, then you already know it's very hard to obtain moisture and, and, and keep moisture, retain moisture into your hair. You know, if you don't know what your porosity is, I'm gonna link a video right here above. It's by a girl named Samira Gilly. I think that's how you say it. But yeah, she did an amazing job and talked about different things when it comes to hair porosity. So I'll make sure I link the, uh, the, that video right above. But yeah, so if you don't know your porosity check that video out so enough of the background when it comes to taking a shower a lot of waivers tend to ask what's the best way to take a shower and help my waves out you know this is a tip that's definitely helped me to be able to allow moisture to get into my hair today's video is devoted to wearing a process cap now if you're wondering what a process cap is it's one of these bad boys you know what i'm saying if you watch friday you probably seen big worm you know what i'm saying not big perm but big worm i'm pretty sure big worm wore one of these but yeah processing cap simply you can find any of these bad boys at sally's or any kind of beauty supply store they're very cheap and you can find either low quality ones or high quality ones now why would you want to wear a processing cap in the shower the processing cap helps block the water from getting to my head you know so if you put products in your hair or whatever the case is you don't want the water to wash your products out a processing cap will help block the water that's the first benefit you know what i'm saying so now the second and this is the most greatest benefit that i've seen by being a low porosity waiver to explain this, I'm gonna put the cap on. So when you have a processing cap on, everybody should know by now that when heat leaves your body, it leaves through your head. That's why when you go out in the wintertime, they always tell you to put a beanie on or a cap or whatever the case is, because if you wanna keep your body temperature regulated by putting something to prevent the heat from going out. Now as a waiver, when you wear a processing cap, this is something you can do whether in the shower or not. If you're just walking around the house, you will notice that as the heat tries to leave your head, your head it won't be able to go anywhere really. And depending on the, the quality of your processing cap, you will notice the effects take place a lot sooner. But for me, uh, with these kind of processing caps, if I walk around a little bit, I notice that my hair will kind of get like in this sweaty kind of feel. And basically what it's doing is the heat is basically causing your, your scalp to just sweat up or whatever. When you go into the shower, you get a greater benefit because it acts as a steamer. Now me, I'm not about to sit under a steamer. Growing up as a kid, I always went to the, the hair salon with my mom whenever she would get her hair done. And I only saw women uh, sitting under steamers, you know what I'm saying? If you do that, more power to you, you know what I'm saying? A steamer will give you greater benefits from doing it. But me personally, I don't want to sit under a steamer. And plus, a processing cap gives me the flexibility to be able to do and move around. When you're under a steamer, you have to just sit there while it does what it needs to. But a processing cap is like the cheap version of using a steamer. Now, when you're in the shower, the shower is already creating heat around you. And because there's water and everything like that, there's like a light mist, it's going to open up your pores and allow your hair to be able to retain or try to draw in as much moisture as possible. This is the benefit that you want because as a low porosity waiver, it, our cuticles are very small. So therefore it's very hard for moisture to get in. And when it comes to healthy hair, your hair is like a garden. You know, if you don't water your garden every single day, eventually it will dry out. You know, so you want to be able to ensure that your scalp and your hair follicles are properly hydrated with the moisture that you need. And then follow it up with any kind of method to help you retain that moisture. But let me take this off. 
just in that few brief moments, I already feel my, my forehead kind of started sweating a little bit, you know, so, but I just wanted to provide this video too for you guys. Like I said, a lot of people think there's nothing else to talk about in the wave game, but I'm about to start opening up the vault, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to start diving into topics that nobody else talked about, you know? So if you thought this was a regular waving channel of me talking about the same thing that everybody else has talked about, man, you sadly mistaken. But for all my true supporters that's been rocking with me from day one, y'all already know, most of the information I give y'all is not something that everybody's been saying because I try to think of things that other people haven't thought about or I try to bring things to the table that uh, can advance or build upon what's already there. One thing that I'm gonna start switching up doing on my videos is I wanna give a shout out and a special highlight to all the people that I've been helping, you know what I'm saying, with these videos. I have people all the time that will hit me up and say, J. Lou, hey, man, I appreciate your videos. Definitely help my waves get better. You know, so you can hit me up on IG or you can find me on my Facebook. All of my information is found in my About Me section on my YouTube. And then what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start showcasing the people that have been getting help from these videos. So for the first person, I'm gonna give a special shout out to my homeboy, Benjamin, you know what I'm saying? He hit me up on IG and he was like, hey, yo, bro, how my waves look? As a 720 waver, it's not very easy to get 720 waves, but check his waves out, man. Y'all tell me what y'all think. But yeah, that's the end of this video. I don't want to talk too, too much. Y'all stay tuned for more videos, more unconventional wisdom, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to be I'm gonna be bringing it to the game, man. It is just, it's a whole bunch of stuff that hasn't been touched. You know what I'm saying? If y'all like the process and cap, make sure y'all let me know in the comment section below. But yeah, man, hope y'all enjoyed y'all day. Salute!